Hi everyone, it is still 11, the 11th of October. Uh, it's four hours late, it's half past two now. Started at half past ten this morning. Um, and we've still got a big pile to go. Okay guys, I'm going to show you around and then I'm going to show you up at the allotment. This is on the car park. Um, and then I'll show you around at the allotment what I've done. Okay, this is part two. Okay guys, show you around. Okay, right, so this is the pile now. Step back a little bit for you. Okay, that's how it's looking. That's my barra. And this, we've made a massive big indent into it. You see that now? Okay, I've probably got maybe just a little bit short of the amount I've ordered, the four tons. And uh, there's been a couple of people else on it as well. Okay, I'll show you around. Look at the grass where we've been going up and down. <laughs> Well, I suppose it saves driving on it anyway. The last lot I had just delivered, there's my allotments. The last lot I had just delivered at the top of the road there, but this is obviously far too much. You can see it, and actually see me allotment from a different angle there, really, can't you? So. Okay, that's it all on. I'll just show you quickly around now. I've got four tonne, and like I said, 10 pound a tonne, and compared to what I was paying last year, 25 quid a tonne, and this stuff is great, it's, it's black gold. I've obviously got a little bit more uh, here because it, it takes about two tonnes to cover the allotment. Plus I've got five beds that have still got things in them that need to come out. Um, and I've got the bed inside the greenhouse, the border, and I've got my raised beds at home. Um, so I've got all this here for that. So I'm gonna put about maybe a few more barrafuls on it. But just look at it, see how black it is how beautiful it is it's really good stuff it's really hot as well oh my god god it was all a bit thingy then wasn't it oh, it keeps doing that whoa there you go that's better it's a little bit uh very crumbly beautiful stuff almost like um christmas cake mixture and i am told that it's meant to be like that okay then quick show around while i'm here might as well do a video of the allotment because i've not you've not had one for a while okay cabbage is looking good um, again, when all these, when all this lot comes out, um, the manure's going in. But this, you know, the likes of the Nero de Toscana will be in until next year, won't it? You know, and the leaks. Um, but yeah, I'm just over the moon. Ten pound a ton, forty quid for all that. The best birthday present a forty-six year old man could ever have. <laughs> I mean, the wife's just been to pick Jack up now, and she said, "You yeah, all right?" I said, "The next time I ask for horse manure, just get me a bottle of malt and a couple of Cuban cigars." <laughs> okay, here's my neighbour Steve, he, he's digging in there, <laughs> keep, keep going with your head down Steve, we're nearly there lad. Um, I've put four, I've put three, three barrels full in each raised bed, um, but in this, these four raised beds here, obviously when the, broad, uh, the runner beans are gone, I've put four in because this is where the potatoes are going. And uh, I did it last year, I put extra in for the potatoes because you can never have too much manure in a potato bed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save some of the manure um, and put it in as I'm planting the um, potatoes as well. So yeah, so the sun needs to go into the rhubarb at the bottom as well. Uh, I haven't, the white flag is the carrots and I did that because I, I didn't want to chuck it in, and plus Steve there, you said that my neighbour, he's been giving me a bit of a lift as well, because he's only ordered a couple of ton. Um, so that's where the carrots are going, and the carrots this year, the thing is flew off, the wind that we had the other day, uh, the other day has ripped the carrot root fly sheeting that I've got on it, um, so I've had to, they're at the mercy of the thingy now, but I reckon they'll be okay, because it's cold on a night, and if anything, if any eggs do get laid in it, then, you know, I think they'll be fine. So I've got some decent carrots there. I dare say I could pull one for you. Let's have a quick look. Um, no, I'll leave them. Because if I pull one of these, it'll just be innuendo all, all the way, won't it? Oh, let's go. Oh, it's here. Oh, sweet Jesus, look at that. <laughs> now that... <laughs> Now that, it's got one, two, three, five. Looks like a hand. <laughs> I wish my lad was here to see that. So that's why I'm not manuring that bed. Not that I didn't manure this one. 
But um, okay, quick look in the Mexican chili factory. Look at all that black gold, cracking stuff. Quick look in the Mexican chili factory. Yay! La cocorachi, la cocorachi. Okay, and I've got loads more to come as well. The ones right at the end are drying now. Look at them. So I'm using them as well, but these are all drying. Oh, look at all them on my little drying jobs. Quick look in the allotment in the greenhouse. Still steaming that. Look at that. I don't know if you're going to get that. I'm going to pick that up. I've got this plastic sheeting that's going to go over the top of it. Um, as for when and as and when I need it, and I've got a load of new pallets that I'm going to build my new bin area, compost bin area, when I get round to it. The ones at the front, that's obviously got the collards are still in that one, and that one's been manured. Okay, looking a bit a uh, bit burning here now, but yeah, as you can see, just tons, tons and tons and tons, loads of chilies more to come. So. Loads of red ones need cutting off and putting in the drying bits, all these big ones. And like I say, these are still kicking flowers out and still kicking chilies out. Look at these. This is the, obviously the stuff that did not been affected by them bloody caterpillars. This is my new Vitis, Vitis Vinifera, my Muscat, I think I showed you that the other week. So, uh, we'll have some red grapes and some white grapes. Okay guys, that's about it. And again, I'm going to put loads of manure in here as well, obviously for next year. Okay guys, that's it. I'll leave you with that beautiful shot of my manured raised beds. Speak to you all soon guys.